Hello Hacktubers and welcome back to my new hack. Ok. This one is my homemade wooden soldering station. You can build it this kind of soldering station just for six dollars. Yes, you hear it. Six dollars. I needed just six dollars to make this wood. Of course, it's not in the price. This stainless steel spring is pulled out from old umbrella and it's perfect for holder, for holding the soldering iron. This one is free, the wood is free. Before I explain which parts I have used for making this homemade soldering station that cost six dollars, I need to tell you that I lost all the video how I made this. Hmm. I'm so sorry about that. To all Hacktubers I must apologize and that's it I'm gonna explaining with words what I have used and explain the circuit diagram. Let's see it. First one thank you for the author of this schematic that I found on the internet it's designed but this guy aka Cassian it's a clone Hako 936 circuit diagram and before explaining that first for building the soldering station you will need a soldering iron like this one or More cheaper is this one. You can get this 24 volts, 48 watts of soldering iron for about four dollars. Imagine that four dollars for this. Hmm. I will put a link down below so you can check it. Let's put away this. Okay. Okay, we have spent a four dollars for the solid soldering iron. The other two dollars are for main components like this operational amplifier LM358 and this MOSFET transistor Z44 here they are this is the MOSFET and this is the integrated chip these two parts cost around one dollar so far five dollars four dollars for the handle one dollar for the most important parts components which are the LM358 and Z44 MOSFET and the other parts like resistors Zener diodes capacitors cost additional one dollar so totally six dollars for making the circuit diagram for controlling the iron ha iron handle that works on 24 volts and it's 48 watts you will need a, a lot of power to drive this and now I'm gonna show you the circuit diagram build it on the small breadboard and I place it inside this wooden box 
with adding main switch, two LEDs, the red is for power on, the yellow is for controlling the temperature of the sensor of the iron handle. I forgot to tell you that inside this iron handle there is a heater and thermocouple. That is a sensor that measures the temperature and controlling with this. Let's open. Here is the DC jack for powering this unit and you can plug from 18 up to 24 volts. Yes, the soldering iron, it works the best from 18 volts up to 24 volts. Here is the circuit diagram made on the breadboard. You can see the integrated chip, the voltage regulator, 5 volts. This one is the MOSFET. The DC jack. And here, and this one is just metal weight so can the soldering station be stable on the table Now let's power up this soldering station and see how it works. As I said, it works from 18 volts up to 24 volts. I'm using a power adapter from all laptop that give 19 volts and enough current for driving the soldering iron. My homemade soldering station turned out pretty good. It takes around 55 seconds the iron to get the temperature of 250 degrees to melt the tin. So let's measure. Start. As I said, the LED LED means power on the red LED and the yellow is the temperature 16 seconds with this potentiometer I can regulate the temperature and choosing between 100, 200 degrees 250 and max of the and max temperature of this iron is I think 420 degrees. Look, the yellow LED has turned off and will turn on to heat the heater inside the soldering iron. Look, 55 seconds. Let's try it. One minute. So, one minute it's needed for your soldering iron to be ready for work. And this one is good soldering iron. Analog soldering station. And it costs, as I said, $6 to make. And it looks pretty amazing in this wooden box. Just one more thing with my multimeter and my K type of 
measuring probe. Let's see how how much is the temperature. Let's put something. Hundred and twenty five degrees is good. I hope you like today's video that was just explaining how I build my homemade wooden soldering station. And once again, I'm sorry for that I lost all the video how I build this that's it thank you for watching please subscribe see you next time